Hello, welcome to the next edition of Budget Magic. Today, uh, we got a sweet deck that won the poll that was a, was one of the decks that I wanted to convert over to Jank Tank, but I just could not add enough value that I actually wanted, right? That improves the deck into a higher level, right? You know? So today, we're playing Monument to Perfection. And I think this deck is actually pretty optimal, I think, right out of this gate. So I'm not even sure if like there's that many upgrades there, you know, you could do in this list. You, you could of course add some like granite volleys, but we'll cover that into the deck tech. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into it. All right, so this is our deck list. And so we have four monuments to perfection. We are trying out four brand new obfuscations because we, we are playing essentially two of each basic. We have one snow, one basic. So that should help the deck uh, get to nine or more with Monty Perfection and actually combo off with it. I should say quote unquote combo off with it. But we have Golos. Uh, Golos is a way to get card advantage and it ramps us. We have a uh, Solemn Sickerwackum, which gets any of our 10 basics. So that's pretty sweet. We have a uh, Rejuvenator, Survey, Cultivate. So we have a lot of ways to ramp with Grazer. We have a removal package is not, you know, lackluster at all, right? We have a Fatal Push, two Radiant Flames main board, because usually Ram Dex weakness is aggro, and we want to be able to hit that out of the park. A lot of the money goes into Fable Passage, maybe, and uh, Fatal Pushes. So, like, this deck is not that expensive, really. Um, we are playing one of each of the new sp Spears. Outside of, there, I think there's one that I'm missing, but it was because it didn't add any value. I think it was the corrupted, um, you know, um, two plus one. So we don't really, can never enable that, except, you know, for that nine uh, infect or toxic damage we could do with this uh, monument. So we're trying to all, basically all in. What I like about Courtyard is because we could play a Grazer turn one, drop down a Courtyard, immediately sack it, get another land. So it does... Um, help also with a uh, rejuvenator so instead of something like evolving wilds where we have to wait on tap with it then sack it it's kind of nice to have a land that you don't really have to wait so we just literally survey for it golos um so you know etc so it really helps out the deck with speed and uh cyborg we have damping spheres for lotus field because Honestly, ramp decks have a terrible time against a, a turn four or five combo deck. We have f two fries for mono white and also, you know, um, to fairies. We have two weather rune stones as a way to hate on um, storm the festivals and uh, also grease fang. Two more radiant flames for extremely aggro matchups. Having a full play set is ideal. Two wear tears. For uh, hammer time, they are going around. We cannot lose that early. <laughs> we just can't. And then we have three rest in peace, also for the Grease Fang matchup, because they are very fast, right? So we need to slow them down. So that is the deck list. Like I said, the only thing I could honestly say right out of the gate is maybe Fry could be running volley, but even the main board wise, I think this deck might just be solid. The only thing that, that could be missing is a little bit of card draw, but we'll see. Let's get into some games. Fable Passage. You. Actually, we'll crack it. Grab a... I was like, I was going to grab the forest. There's just so many options. So when you do play the deck, you should prioritize green because most of our stuff is green. Steam Vents. Tapped. Passes. Fable Passage. Crack the passage. This time we'll get a forest. Ship the turn. So we got three colors. We don't have the white for this obfuscation. So we have to figure out if we're going to prioritize which one. Um, Fatal Push is an instant speed. So we'll probably prioritize that. Survey. So I think I go ahead and drop Rejuvenator. Impulse. So I'm hoping we either find a white or black source here. Okay, we'll get Surgical Bay. Plays a Fable of the Mirror Breaker. This looks like it might be, is it creativity? All right, so we survey. Grab Hunter. Dross Pit. Pass the turn. We got six different lands. So we need three more. We'll get there. I mean, best case scenario, we top deck a land here. We'll, we'll, we'll block it. We'll save it. Save it. Another monument perfection. Play monument. It does not get got by a lot of counters. 
Come on, does it resolve? All right, so we will grab a white source. Uh, so grab a planes, play the planes. Play a second monument, ship the turn. Yeah, resolves. What do you got? Big score. This card's an indomitable creativity, which tells me he has a second one in hand. That probably means we lose impulse. That makes no sense, right? Am I losing it? Play the land. Maybe, I guess even this, he could sack um, treasure tokens. I don't get that. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, solemn uh, simulacrum. And we grab a basic. We'll grab a basic snow cover forest. Activate monument. Grab, I guess, the furnace. Play the furnace. Ship the turn. We can turn these on next turn. All right, we just got to survive one turn, I think, which I don't think is going to happen, right? I mean, there's no way. Uh, yeah. All right, so against this matchup, uh, I think Runestone ruins that, doesn't it? I think. And then we'll bring in Wear Tear, go down the push. Radiant Flames Elsa doesn't seem great. We'll just keep a couple pushes in. I don't like that. Forest. Grazer. Hallelujah. Put down... Island, ship the turn, canal, passes, planes, runestone, ship the turn. Sadly enough, creativity does blow that up. <laughs> I just, I just put that together. <laughs> so he could technically just needs to pay an extra. So he needs to pay three red and three. There's our namesake card. That's sweet. Uh, Fable passage. Play monument to perfection. And we crack that, grab a black source. Well, let me know down in the comments if I missed something in this list. So I think the deck's actually pretty cool. Rejuvenator. The fair... Since uh, the other ones are basics, they come into play on tap later on. So it makes sense to grab the tap source here. We will grab mountain. Ship the turn. Impulse. All right, we draw wear tear. That's not too bad. So I think we pay into monument. We grab the green sphere. Ship the turn. After, nope, we can't really attack. So pass. Probably big score, fire prophecy. All right, seems good. So is his goal to start attacking with the uh, mutavolt? Indominal creativity. Both of my objects. Okay, we will grab forest yeah we will grab one two three four five six seven eight so surgical bay and he passes sweet play the land pay into golos uh play cultivate first because we might be running out of basics go ahead and cast rejuvenator go to combat attack Ship the turn. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Crack the Fable Passage. Pay into Golos. Cast Solemn Simulacrum. Get an Island. Go to Combat. Attack with Golos. So if we double blocks with Mutavolt, fine. All right, so we cast Golos. He Disdainful Strokes. That's fine. Cast a Free Grazer, just because. Survey. Grab Merax, and I guess we just gain a life. That's fine. Even though this gets sacked and we get nothing. So I think we just ship the turn. This deck is kind of sweet, though. Creativity. Yeah, I can't deal with either one of those. Let's blow that up. Because I'm pretty sure Xenagos is, uh, I mean, yeah. Owen one with the deck. Let's see if we can get the next guy. Booming Marsh for the opponent. Gilded Goose. Hong Kong. Another Graza. Oh, that stinks. Grab the snow cover forest. Forest. Innkeeper. Passes. Sad robot. Okay, so I play Fable. Play Grazer. Play the mountain. Crack the Fabled. So get a snow cover. Planks. Ship the turn. Play Rejuvenator. Play the Hunter Maze. Ship the turn. Glade. Bowls the Citadel. Seeing that one coming. Passes. I cultivate. Let's grab... Swamp Island. Put the swamp into play. Play the island. 
Play Monument to Perfection. Ship the turn. We got six lands. Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Another Feed Artisan. Stitcher Supplier. Goose. Stitcher Supplier. So, Priest. Yeah. Oi. I think that's lethal. Yeah, that's lethal. So, we definitely need as many ways as we can to answer that. Um, I don't know if Runestone stops it. I'm going to try. Because I don't have much here. Uh, push is okay. Flames is okay. I think Obfuscation is the weakness of this situation. We need to keep the ramp. We need to race. The question is, do we want more Radiant Flames? Maybe. Over some pushes. I don't like that. Maybe I should have Fable Passage. Fable. Grazer. Next turn, I think we want to cultivate. Grab a mountain, I suppose. Just in case we draw Radiant Flames. There's a Pathway on Black. Innkeeper. It's a Stitcher Supplier. All right, so we play Cultivate. Snow Cover Forest. Snow Cover Plains. Put the Plains into play. Play the Forest. Ship the turn. Glade for the opponent. Another Innkeeper. So he has seven mana next turn. So he has enough for Bolus's Idol if he ever finds it. Whoa, Strider. Probably just sack the Supplier. Play a Tap Land. Uh, that was maybe a mistake. Because I could have actually just Cultivator. I think I just survey here a total whiff so he plays a layer of the hydra tapped sifter he should start attacking me why not all right we block a one one so cultivate black source black source put a black source into play play the other black source and elvis rejuvenator put the fable passage ship the turn we have eight lands we are super close He's clearly digging for his um, Bolus of Citadel. I kind of want a Radiant Flames. Waste, sure. I definitely think I need to kill the Sifter. Turns on, oh, just turns on the lair. Okay, goes to combat. What do you attack with? He trades here. Could block here. I want to get rid of the, the effect of another green source here. Oh, wait, he sacked it. So that way we would not. All right, so that means we just get rid of the lair. We wanted to get rid of the Sifter. He has not even dealt damage yet. Which is good. Crack the Fable Passage. I guess Mountain? Golos. We'll get another Island. Plays a Blooming Marsh and passes. Oh my god. There it is. There it is. We will grab the Plains. Play the Plains. Golos. Sad Robot. We grab a Waste. That's our last card. Go to Combat. Attack. Pass the turn. Bottom, so we know he's not finding it. Pass the turn. Attack Numa. Are you getting back Reclamation Sage? That would be super sad. Gets a might. Yeah. All right, so we just go for it again. All right, dig. Probably shouldn't have paid that red, though. All right, play Mirax. Cultivate doesn't do anything. Rejuvenator. All right, so we get the bay. All right, so we sack the pits. Another Golos. Go to combat. Attack, attack, attack. Blocks. Place a hive tapped. Do you attack? No attacks. Passes. Furnace. Play the furnace. Go to combat. Attack, attack, attack. All right, so cast monument. We have enough mana to activate it again. I don't, I mean, we could definitely survey. Kind of useless, but we'll take it. Another goal is activation. Play a grazer, I guess, for a chump blocker. Ship the turn. You're going to turn on the hive just to sack it? Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Okay. That's not a Bolus of Citadel. Uh, turn on Monument. Please tell me it is. Okay, sweet. And then we activate Golos. Again, we get nothing. Cast Sad Robot. Cast a Free Grazer, because it doesn't do anything. So we will, I guess, make a 1-1 one, one Might. Play another Grazer. Go to Combat. Attack, 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 attack. And we'll attack with those two. Chomps. It kills a Rejuvenator. It kills a Rejuvenator. That's fine. We activated the, the Monument, though. All right. He kills a sad robot. Seems more... Yeah. Seems better. We get to draw a card. 
We have 14 cards left in the deck, though. Innkeeper. Runestone. Play the Runestone. Monument. Second one, baby. Uh, turn it on. Why not? Go to combat. Attack, attack. Attack, attack, attack. We gotta put this game away before he draws a bullet and citadel. And blocks the toxic dork. Sure. He takes six down to ten. Oh yes, we draw. Please give me another monument. Wear tear. Okay. That's actually not bad. That reinsures that we probably won't lose. I kind of want to sack this. Let's see how many monuments we have left. We have one more monument. That just wins. Clean up his board. And get in with two monuments. The monument win. He is taking up a lot of his clock. Desperately digging. Watch him find it. Clean up the board. Go to combat. And attack with both. Sweet. Got it. Run it back. Elf. Passes. Probably playing at hyperspeed now. Fable Passage. Crack the Passage. Forest. Pass the turn. I'm glad we got we, we got a game. We got a game with the monument. That's awesome. I think this means this is the greatest season ever on this channel. Tyvar. Sure. That works good. On um, a Mills. Rejuvenator. That'll work next turn. Play Grazer. Mountain. Ship to turn. Blooming Marsh for the opponent. Woe Strider. What do you have for two mana? Keen Artisan. Definitely should sack these two though. Planes. Go. Yeah. He has 40 seconds left on his clock. Angaber. Passes. Survey. Maze. Mountain. Ship the turn. Tyvar down ticks. You gotta make a quick decision. Gets a Llanowar Elf and dies. All right, one on one with the deck. Let's get into the next. Forest. Go. Yeah. Forest. Elf. Play the mountain. Ship the turn. Overgrown tomb. Untapped. Vrawn. For the opponent. Hits me for one down to 19. Courtyard. Play the waste. Rejuvenator. Uh, get the fair Bliska. Ship the turn. Uh, attacks. Take it. Down to 17. Sown. Sad robot. We'll grab a black source. Play a forest. Pass the turn. Another elf. Okay. Do you attack me? Probably he does. With both? That seems weird. Uh, we're gonna offer both trades. Yeah, seems good. We will draw another brawn. That makes a little more sense. Another sad robot. Golos. We will grab the blue tap land. Play play the maze and we will fatal push the Vron. Priest. Okay. All right. Courtyard. Grab a planes. Activate Golos. Ouch. We just got through uh, three lands, I guess. All right. Go to combat. And attack. Collect a company. Oh, attack Numa. Another Vron. Never mind. Golos is dealt with. Cutthroat. Monument to perfection. There we go. Got it. Assembled. So we cultivate. Try to thin our deck out. I think we have like two basics left. No, we have a few. Uh, I guess Swamp. Put the island into play, sure. Play the swamp, play sad robot. This mana base really has worked out. Even though it's super budget friendly, like ship the turret. And we assembled the nine so fast, like relatively decent and it's consistent. So it's it's kind of nice. I figured that was that, this was the most optimal way of making the mana base, which is snow covered lands with basics. And we will attempt to Golos, Dross Pits, play Rejuvenator, and then turn on the Monument. Take. Okay, here we go. Go to combat. Attack, attack. He's indestructible. He's toxic nine. That is something. Yeah, pass the turn. Forest for the opponent. Passes? No. Gotta have something more than that. All right. So we will play Obfuscation. Get rid of the Deathrite Shaman. That's fine. All right, we are so close. Turn on Golos. Uh, just cast that robot. I don't want to cast anything more than that. Rejuvenator doesn't add much value. This is at least a 2-2, and it draws me a card. And I think I have one basic. Yeah, then that deck. Go to combat. Attack out. Oh, got it. So I'm going to run it back and do the exact same changes. I don't... Uh, maybe rest in peace as well. Down obfuscation. Down the fatal pushes. Up a radiant flame. I don't like that. Overgrown tomb. Untap. Elf. Shall we lead off with the fable passage? Get a forest. Ship the dude. Swamp for the opponent. Tyvar. You gonna uptick it? Nope. Mills three cards. Oh, he does still play Collective Company. Good to know. Passes. Plays a pathway. 
Playa. Green. Collect a company. All right, another L. So we play the planes. Play Rejuvenator. We whiff. Attack with this only. Sure, we'll just take it. That's one card. Passes. So we'll play the Waste. Play Sad Robot. Grab Swamp. Uh, we definitely will offer the trade. Tyvar down ticks. Gets back for on. Another L. Fable Passage. Crack the Passage. Grab the Blue Source. Just because. Golos. And the Maze. Because we want another Green Source. Pass the turn. He's probably going to sack this elf and this elf and make me sack my rejuvenator so he could draw a card and drain me for two. Oh, drain me for three. Elf Vron. Seems good. Down to 13. All right. Sack our rejuvenator. Another Vron. Untap. Overgrown Tomb. Tapped. Passes. Oh, he taxed me for one. Down to four. Should have seen that one coming. Play the planes. Golos. Take the Mirax. Rejuvenator. Take one. Pass the turn. Another priest. Do we lose? I think so, right? He, so he taps. Sacks. So sack, sack. And that's down to... Right, that's exact these actually. Uh, I think I bring in the other Radiant Flames. Down a Rejuvenator, run like that. Fable Passage. Crack the Passage. I think I get Mountain. Pass the turn. Pathway on green. Elf, sad robot. Play the land. Play per Monument to Perfection. Swamp, Cutthroat. Max with the Elf. Sure, down to 19. Please deck. Okay, crack that. Grab a Plains. Ship the turn. Another Elf. Priest. Pathway. Radiant Flames. We take four down to 15. Pass the turn. Anchor Bloom. I mean, that's fine. Swamp. Sad Robot. Grab the Green Source. Cutthroat. Goes to combat. No attacks. No cover. Planes. Rest in peace. That was definitely a punt. Shouldn't have tapped this forest. I could have surveyed. I guess he could technically sat Kanker Bloom here. For it. Activate Monument. We will grab Snow Cover Forest. Pass the turn. Reaver for the opponent. Passes. Play the Forest. Survey. Courtyard. Passage. Sack the courtyard. Get the mountain. I'm pretty sure that's all I have left. Eh, we'll just pay it. So he's gonna sack the canker bloom. Probably to get rid of the rest in peace. That way he could deal. Nope, gets rid of my monument. Everything dies. We pass the turn. Golos. We will grab the Mirax. Crack the Fable Passage. Collect a company. Sure. It's a priest and a two drop. We will take the island. Play a swamp. Get Jengatha in hand. Chip the turn. Grave Lighter. Goes to combat. Smacks my face for two. Down to 14. Okay. Seems good. Plays an overgrown two. Tapped. Jengatha. Rejuvenator. Get the pits. Pass the turn. Collect a company. Sure. Two Reavers. Passes. Now he says sack. Okay. There goes our Rejuvenator. Survey. Pass the turn. Grave Lighter. Make a little 1-1. One, one. Sack the Might. Oh, sack the Might. I mean, that is a flyer. That is a pretty good move. He sacks his uh, Cutthroat. Rejuvenator. Bottom everything. Pay a black. Sack that. Draw a card. I'm pretty sure that's a whiff of a card. Extra two in the air. All right. Down to 10. Tyvar. Untaps the 2-2. Two, two. Radiant Flames. Oh my god, that's perfect. Get rid of the board. Make a 1-1. One, one. Go to combat. It hit Tyvar. Sure. That's fine. All right. He trade. Pass the turn. All right. He runs out of time. So, two Two and one with the deck. Both timeouts. Pretty sweet. Let's see if we were going to draw that card pretty soon. Never mind. It crashed. Classic Modo. So let's get into the wrap up. So what did we learn this week about this deck? And overall, I thought the deck was actually pretty decent. Um, There's a lot of takeaway. Pay to push might not be necessarily worth it. It does pinch us towards black or more earlier in the game. Maybe this should be a different removal spell. That way, um, you know, it technically works out in our favor a little bit better so we can maybe either focus on white or red because radiant flames is kind of important sometimes um green doesn't really of course have any removal but overall i thought the deck was actually pretty solid overall if you guys like i said had any considerations let me know down in the comments um i definitely think there is something here uh money of its perfection didn't feel all that bad overall i mean we won a game or two with it. Comes down, it does put a huge clock on the opponent. And overall, I thought the deck was fun. So, for a budget deck. Kind of stinks that both matches we won. The opponent is just so slow at playing Magic. That's, yeah, that seems like a great episode. So, tomorrow we are... So, the rest of this week, we have a sweet lineup. We have tomorrow. We have... Um, in fact, in modern, we have a brand new land. Uh, we even have the new one drop green creature to help poison counters once we target our own thing and our opponent tries to remove it. We still get to do some toxic damage. And also the closing out this week, we're going to be playing um, Luca 
and dinosaurs with of course during the festival which is one of the best payoffs for dinosaurs overall so we're gonna see how luca does with uh, storm the festivals so stick around subscribe do all that stuff to see all those sweet videos coming up and until next time hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day